A little shuffling in the background. My feet are cold, standing on tile. Just so y'all know. I'm here to talk a little bit about low molecular weight heparin. Ooh, yeah. Daltaparin. Daltaparin is an anticoagulant. Helps prevent DVTs below the knees. Has a long absorption and less need. For dose adjustment, that's me. 90 degrees administered. Subcutaneously, yes sir. It's taken with the smallest needle. Right in your abdomen. Don't be scared. You can do it yourself. Just a pinch and stick and you're well. Remember to administer in different places. Each and every day. We like to check your blood studies. Prior to treatment to get a baseline. We periodically check your blood studies. Again and again it's baseline. To see when the therapeutic range is achieved. It's more a precautionary action. You can still eat all the favorite foods. As much as you like. Remember to get all the food groups and a well-balanced meal. Okay, I got time. Let's go. Now where did I leave off? Oh yeah. Stay away from high-risk activities. I could and cause you to bleed. You can exercise but avoid contact or extreme sports. Return to your usual activities when your doctor discontinues the medication. Treatment lasts five to 10 days. As a doctor orders, yeah. Treatment can increase the risk of bleeding, but your body still has clotting factors that will still be able to stop the bleeding. It just might take a little longer for the blood to clot. If kidneys are not functioning well, The blood studies will tell us this, that we can change the dose we administer, monitor for unusual bruising or blood in your urine or stool. Report any bleeding or injury right away, don't hesitate. Major bleeding is rare, minor. Minor bleeding will stop on its own. But in rare cases, you know, seek medical attention, because that's what we're here for. Mm. Mm. There's a risk that could develop a blood clot if you refuse the medication. The clot can decrease the flow in your legs, below your knees especially, because your feet are far away. And they got time to coagulate, which can cause tissue damage, or break apart the cause and cause tissue damage in other areas of your body. Talking a pulmonary embolism up in here, cause that would be the worst. Well, the worst is you die, so you know. Maybe don't. Just take molecular weight. space out everything I do. That was a pretty good first take. Oh. Missed my mouth. Ah. Low molecular weight, I have friends. Go back.
like a limb that goes in your subcutaneous tissue, yeah, tissue, administered with a 90 degree pinch, stick in your back, safety injection needles, that is a fact, I don't know if you need this information, but it's pretty, pretty easy. to your doctor cause he knows some shit I don't know if you are a doctor cause you know some shit la da 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 la da 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 I will edit this la da 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 la da 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 da